The Crystal by Bitfury is a service created for complex blockchain analytics tasks. It is aimed to simplify investigation efforts which involve Bitcoin blockchain analysis. Let's take a look at a use case. Tracking flow of Bitcoins created by ransomware distributors. We suppose that you've heard about the WannaCry ransomware attack, which took place in May 2017. About 200,000 computers in 150 countries were infected. The attack targeted computers running the Microsoft Windows OS by encrypting data and demanding ransom payments in Bitcoin. We want to show you how one can trace funds collected by ransomware distributors. Here you can see the home page of our explorer. In the search bar, you can enter WannaCry and go to the page dedicated to this entity. If we didn't have this entity in the database, you could have supplied an address of your interest. On this page, you can see that WannaCry collected a total of 53 BTC. But how did the criminals launder and withdraw the collected amount of Bitcoin? We'll show you how to use Crystal to find out. Let's go further and look at the list of transactions made by the ransomware guys. Crystal found more than 300 transactions related to this entity. For example, let's take a closer look at one of the outgoing transactions on page 3. What you will see now is a page with detailed information about this transaction and a table with input-output addresses and amounts. Instead of working with bare numbers and hashes, you can explore transactions using Visualization Tool. Let's find out how it works by clicking on the Visualization button. On this page, you can see the interface of this tool. Circles represent entities and lines represent transactions. You can explore direct outputs by clicking plus or use another control elements. A detailed description of their functions can be found in the user guide. After two steps, we arrive at an address which belongs to the exchange Shapeshift. As you can see, we have found a link to a real world organization and that may represent a starting point for a further investigation. In addition, we've designed a tool which performs tracking of Bitcoin's flow automatically given the initial set of transactions to track. To see how it works, let's put outgoing transactions from WannaCry entity page to the corresponding fields and click the Setup Tracking button. The tool has several additional parameters. Their detailed description can be found in the user guide. In this case, we'll use the default values. You can also enter your email to receive notifications when tracking processing is completed. After clicking the Setup Tracking button, you'll be redirected to the Processing page, where you can find a link to results. Processing may take some time. In this video, we'll skip the waiting time and go straight to the Results page. This is the table where all addresses which received Bitcoins from the initial set of transactions are listed. We can see Shapeshift as expected from our previous exploration. We see other exchanges here as well. If you want to see how the funds moved from that six transactions we've supplied to an address shown in the table, for example, Changely, you can click on the icon in Path column. Here you can see the main path. Clicking the Show button allows you to see all paths to the point of withdrawal. It's possible to check presence of each transaction in the blockchain. You can see here icons representing wallet addresses. The values on the lines between them show the amount of traced funds transferred within the same transaction. The graph allows you to see the big picture, but also you can click on the wallets or amounts to see detailed information. It may be useful if you need to know where and how long the funds were kept on their way to the exchange. The graph itself can be exported as an SVG file. That means that it could be used in third-party analytical tools, reports, or presented on any machine where a web browser is installed. In this video, we've covered crystal features that can be used for analyzing Bitcoin transactions from ransomware suspected entities.